What's up, YouTubers? It's Awkward Merc. I'm back again. Um, got a little domination game for you, and uh, as you guys know from the last video, I'm going to stop uh, trying to coach you guys on what to do, because everybody knows how to play the game by now, and uh, it's a little redundant by now to explain how to play this game. Um, uh, a lot of people saw the montage I did post. It uh, it wasn't the greatest. It was my first uh, my first attempt at one, so you have to give me a break. It was some shoddy editing, and uh, not exactly, you know, was, I like that song, Sleep Now in the Fire, but it's not the... Uh, the uh, video wasn't attuned to the uh, the music per se, so uh, you know, just give me a break and bear with me. I'll hopefully, I'll have more, and uh, we'll see how that goes from uh, from now on. Uh, been watching a lot of movies lately, actually, and uh, recently just went and watched uh, Machete, which is that new uh, Robert Rodriguez movie with uh, Danny Trejo and uh, all the other actors. You know, Robert De Niro, Jeff Fahey, Lindsay Lohan. Michelle Rodriguez on Jessica Alba, all those people. Um, it made, uh, I'm kind of a fan of some older cinema movies. Like, uh, I recently watched The Godfather, uh, part one and two, actually, in the same day, which is, uh, quite a task. It's, uh, six hours of movie right there, and, uh, sometimes reading subtitles, and, uh, six hours of Al Pacino in your face, uh, you know, which not a lot of people can handle, but, uh, I like to consider myself a veteran, so. <laughs> but, uh, uh, overall, it, um, it was a, I, I, it makes me, uh, Machete was a, uh, actually a pretty good movie. Um, it needed to end 30 minutes sooner than it actually did, which is, uh, you know, not the nicest thing to say about a movie, but, you know, you guys don't come to me for movie reviews. I'm just, you know, you guys do come listen to the commentaries to hear what I think and, uh, laugh at me, I guess. I don't know, I don't know why you guys listen to these. Um, but, uh, Machete was an okay movie. It wasn't the, uh, the greatest. It needed in 30 minutes, like I said before. Uh, uh, it's I ironic in the sense that it's almost too ironic. I don't know if uh, Rodriguez was going... He went over the top with his irony and his, uh, his Latin American references and stuff like that with the egg under the bed and there's some, others, there's some other funny stuff that uh, if you don't know about uh, Hispanic culture is uh, actually pretty funny. It was funny what he did, and but... It, he he hits you over the head with it, and there's almost too much. The uh, the whole uh, border thing, you know, with the uh, tense, how tense the borders is right now, or are right now, is not is, um, is like the sense of uh, the borders are uh, extremely flooded. We have drugs and illegal immigration, of course, which is, you know, to some people is a it, it is a big deal living in California like I do. But I'm in the northern part. Uh, I mean, I don't see such a big deal with it, and that's kind of the approach the movie takes. Which is you know let us is you know let us come over here we're good hardworking people which they are, so you do have to respect that in a sense. I mean a lot of people I know are uh, of, of uh, Mexican descent or any kind of uh, immigrant are uh, great hardworking people. I mean I have never known a a, a too bad a bad one that's uh, been too bad or a person that's been uh, too bad. But I mean you know there are those and uh, some. Some people are not don't have the uh, best interest when they come to America, but uh, I mean, a lot of people are just hardworking people looking for a better life, and a lot of people are uh, there's extreme a sense of bigotry towards uh towards the uh, Hispanic culture. I know that, and uh, in any culture, especially on Xbox Live, it seems to be that uh, a lot of people are uh, <laughs> state shitty ass grenade right there. Um, a lot of people are very uh they're very racist against uh I don't know what it is. I don't know if we're just uh, the culture these days is bringing just a, a huge amount of bigotry from these nine year old kids and I mean a lot of these kids are 16 and 17 I don't know who, who listen, how old everybody is who listens to this but I mean it's, at a certain point it's, uh, it's sad guys I mean to be that that racist about any I mean it's weird at first and it's it's close it's narrow minded and it's 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 not a it's a horrible thing to be part of I don't know why people so many people are so racist and uh, just uh, we, uh, just mean and mean spirited. I don't know if that's just gamers in general. It's because you're uh, a lot of people are asocial who are gamers or asocial and they're looked down as nerds. And you know they are uh, loners, of course. Not everybody, but I mean, I almost get all three, but <laughs> messed up. Um, I don't know what it is. I don't know if it brings this sense of a uh, defense of this guard to. Uh, to people in general who play video games, I don't know if it's everybody. I don't know if people are trying to 
If that's I don't think that's really who they are. I think they're just uh, misguided in a sense. A lot of these young kids who are uh, racist and uh, you know sexist and all this, stuff, especially with uh, women. I hear that all the time when I'm in a lobby with a uh, a girl or a woman. You know, whichever you prefer, ladies. Um, they are they, they do get a uh, chastised for being a, a girl, and they you know a lot of very nasty things are said, of course, and it's you're just wondering. Uh, you know, the kid wants some kind of female attention because he he's lo he's just longing for it. I mean, that's why he's speaking up to talk to her. He wants some kind of attention. Either he doesn't get it at school or home. Something about attention, especially female, is uh, what the person is seeking when they often, you know, make fun of somebody else. But uh, I'm getting a little too preachy, so I'm going to go back to my uh, machete. I went on a huge, long, <laughs> uh, diluted, just crazy uh, rant right there. Um, the the movie was okay. I mean, it needed to end 30, second, or 30 minutes sooner. Um, the irony, it hit you over the head with uh, the irony in it, which was, it's funny to a point but I mean after a while it does get old and uh, bland and uh, it does start start ruin the uh, the whole the whole experience uh, I do let's see um but I, I don't know what it is I, I do like older movies like The Godfather like I said earlier The, the Godfather seems to, I don't know what it is about it it's, it's it's a slow paced movie and a lot of people don't like it it's, it's really slow paced there's a lot of story and subtleties to how uh, you know everything that's going on, and I, I like that. It's almost like a foreplay, if you will. Excuse the uh, sexual metaphor, but it's like a foreplay. It's like we're not going to show you everything we have. The director, you know, Coppola is not going to show you everything at first. He's not going to hit you over the head with all this action. He's going to, you know, say this is the story. This is what's going on. This is why this is happening, and it's great. It's it's such a great way to. Uh, because when the action does happen in the sense of this huge violence, I mean, there's a lot of violence in The Godfather, this massive amount of violence and these horrible things that people are doing to each other. Once it is, it does happen, it's it's very satisfying. It's very it's very real and visceral. I know that. Um, I know a lot of people just don't like it because of the uh, how slow paced it is, though, and there are some subtitles. And I mean, it's a, it's a very good movie. It's kind of like a... Like the, the Departed, which is, I mean, The Departed is also a great movie, but it's directed by Scorsese, of course. You know, one of the second, you know, the greatest directors. Also, I almost said second greatest, but I don't want to list start that list. There's uh, too many to name. Uh, but this, it's almost like The Departed, which there's is huge. Uh, you know, it's slow, and it's it's slow to build, but there's a lot of story behind it, and there's a deep character detail. Which is what I love about so, so many movies, in general. Like uh, No Country for Old Men, there's such great uh, character background, and just the uh, the care in which the Coen brothers take in the movie is phenomenal. You know, they take so much time in each story, and what's in all the dialogue, which is great. And, and Tarantino too. I mean, I mean, I'm just starting to ramble on about these great directors that I like, but they have such great. Uh, great story story and, and script and dialogue in all their movies and I'm going to bring this back but what make but what, that's what I like about uh, that's what I like in general when I read books and movies and video games even which is I'm, I'm bringing it full circle right now video games I think a lot of them lack this this uh, some some of them lack a, a, an essential story and plot um, a lot of a lot of them have a very good do a very good job doing like Uncharted Uncharted 2 Uncharted and uh Alan Wake, of course, is it's it's a it's a good story, but it's it's a little over the top. It's way too sci-fi. And then, of course, uh, Dead Space is which I what I've been starting to play again. There's it's a, it's a great story behind it, and this great world in in general, and the pacing of the of the of uh, the how you play in each uh, little section and mission and chapter, whatever you want to call it, and each care and you know the character Isaac. You don't know much about him. But that's kind of what uh, that's kind of I think that's uh, the game game developers' uh, way of drawing you in to feel like you're the character. They don't want to, once you acknowledge that the uh, the character is somebody else is Isaac, then you're acknowledging that it's not you. You're like oh you take takes you out of it and you're like oh I'm playing as somebody. So it's a sense of why that's why he doesn't talk. It, they want you to uh, experience it firsthand, of course. Um, I <laughs> I just noticed this gameplay is going really long. Been rambling a lot. I've got a lot of different things. 
Um, the other thing I want to say is if you guys do like my uh, my commentaries and you know if the videos are not greatest, I mean they're okay. I do I do post some okay scores. I mean these are scores I get every you know almost every match. Not to brag, but I you know a lot of people uh, Pat of course can can uh, back me up on this. I do get these scores almost every game. So I mean it's it's not like I uh, I'm posting these ra really random gameplays where I'm doing well every once in a great while. These are every game of course. Or almost every game, damn close. Except when I get noob tube, just like that. I mean, I just I pick the best of the best, and uh, the ones where I do rush and have fun. Excuse me, I burped. Um, so hopefully you guys uh, do like these, and if you if you do like them, please recommend them to anybody. You know, uh, throw them out to anybody else uh, on your friends list or any of your subscribers. If you do have subscribers and you post videos and you do watch this. So uh, I appreciate any kind of help. I don't want to beg for it, but you know, if you uh, if you do like it, please uh, you know shout it out for me. And I, uh, you know, if if you guys wanted me to watch any of your videos or anything, vice versa, I will. Of course, I uh, I love watching videos. I do have a, a critical eye though, so I'll warn you for beforehand. But uh, the game's over right now, so uh, you know, if you do like, comment, rate, and subscribe, guys. And uh, I'll see you guys on the on the game field.